What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Get Real Bass Fishing. Today we are back on the water going for some bluefish. Hopefully maybe see a striped bass although it's the daytime and that might be very unlikely. But we're gonna try to catch some fish, have some fun. I went to Smith Point Bait Beach and Tackle and picked up some more mag daughters because that bluefish, those two yesterday, oof, they destroyed that, that mag daughter. Charlie threw off uh, my black and purple and one of my other gold shiners ones so I had to replace those because I want to catch fish and you know once you lose something that's when the fish are going to go after it and nothing else is going to work. So I replaced those and we're going to go try to catch some fish. We're going to smooch and release, we're going to have some fun on the water. So let's go. So I don't normally like having to rig up on the water because once I get here I see the water and I just want to get on it. But I do want to point out since we literally have thousands of new subscribers and people that are new to fishing, that this is what a leader looks like that you don't want. I, ho I hope it looks, I hope we can focus on there, but we got frays all over the place. And just forgetting about the frays, look how salty white that is. You don't want that. That's gonna, that's from the sun being up on the trucks, the salt water drying out the, the mono. So we're gonna replace this. We're just gonna tie on a new leader to the TA clip and I know I, I'm basic, I have a, a barrel swivel. I don't normally do that, but it's just quick and easy and instead of doing a uni to uni or FG or Alberta or whatever. And also yesterday, we got into a school of blues and it was literally insane. It was like every cast and like three on one cast, they kept popping off. So I replaced the hooks on my mag darter. Um, this mag darter actually had replaced hooks already, but catching so many fish, the last couple of months it's just they, they went dull I guess and uh, we'll see if that's the problem but let's replace this leader and we'll get on the water so I've got 40 pound mono it's just a spool of, of monofilament that that I use for my leaders because leader material is uh, seems a little bit more expensive and I've never had a problem really using this stuff as opposed to the leader material. I'm gonna put a, a three foot leader, we're just gonna cut this off, get rid of this. We're not gonna throw it on the beach. We're just gonna put it in the truck and throw it out later. Get yourself a good pair of pliers when looking for them. Look for pliers that have a split ring. Um, I, I, I guess, I don't know, just look for something that I could do. I don't know what it's called, just put, split ring pliers, and then also a cutter. These are Dr. Meters. I've been using these for literally years, and that's what my other one is, same brand. And they work really, really well. Now the thing with bluefish, is, as I'm sure you guys know, is they have giant teeth, and they will rip through anything, which is why I like using plugs, like a mag daughter, or an SP, or, or top water plugs, because Anything smaller like a swim bait or a bucktail, the, the bluefish are just gonna chomp. Like, let's put it this way, I'll show you here. This is, if a bluefish comes in, right? I'm gonna block my eyes because it's got eye focus. If a bluefish comes in, he's hitting this. See, my line is nowhere near that, all right? As opposed to a bucktail or a swim bait, let's just put it, let's say we have a swim bait, right? So he, first off, they're gonna bite off that tail. And then another one's gonna come in where that line tie is, he's gonna come up here and bite that line tie. And then that's history. And I'm not, I am not using this lure during the day. So I'm gonna switch off to one of the baits I just got at Smith Point, Bait Beach and Tackle, but look at the abuse this thing's been through. Bass, bluefish for the last like two months. Cool. Now the cool thing about bluefish is it's not really anything specific. They'll literally go after anything. I've thrown a teaspoon at them with a hook on it and I've caught them. I'm sure you guys have seen that video. It's gotten millions of views. But we're just gonna use a simple old mag darter. Like I said, it's just, it's easy. They'll go after anything. So why not something that's, that's uh, easy to work and stays out of the weeds on the bottom because they float. So this is the color that I caught fish on yesterday. It's the gold shiner one. We're just gonna slip it on and I will show you how to work it. But again, bluefish will go after anything, literally.
Now when it comes to fishing for bluefish, like I said, they'll go after anything. But there is kind of a technique to fishing for anything in general. So what I like to do is find rips and then I like to cast up current and let it float down and catch some fish that way. Give a couple twitches. I'll show you. So right here, we have a slight rip and this is what I wanna fish. Uh, there's a channel here. Obviously you can see the buoys where the boats go. There's a channel here and there's a drop off. So all those fish are just basically, it's like a highway. They're just gonna be traveling around here. And then with this, with this flashy bait, it's just attracting fish upward to catch them to, to, to feed. So we're gonna to try to catch some fish by casting up current and letting it slowly float down. Give it a twitch and keep tension on the line. No slack line. And chances are we'll, we'll get something. The bay is warm and that's what bait fish want. And where there's bait fish, there's predatory fish. Let's go. Ah, oh, lost one. There we go. Got him. We got our first fish of the day. He came, he hit it and then he came back for it. He's in that rip. Nice fish. Going up current now. Come on, bud, come on. Fish, but hey, starting off the day. Just a couple casts in, we got a little four pound blue. <laughs> All right, let's go. Keep doing that technique and we'll catch something. Hopefully a little bit bigger. There it goes. Get all the sand off my hand. So like I said, blue fish will go after anything but you gotta get it in front of them. Let's go catch some more fish. Oh, he's there, boy. Oh, it's a big one. It's a big one. It's a big chunk of blue. Come on, bud. Come on. It's an airborne fish. Come on right out. He doesn't want to come in. He's got it all the way down the shore. See, this is what I was talking about when it comes to the bait being close to their mouth. Luckily, I had that TA clip where I would have 100% lost that fish. Let's uh, clean them off. This is how it goes. Luckily, there's no size limit on uh, bluefish, but looks like I'm bringing home a blue. Not what I want to do, but what's gonna happen. So this little bugger, he's going home with me. Uh, he's not gonna make it, the plug was all the way down his throat. That's why he was so acrobatic out there. But luckily, like I said, there's no size limit. Charlie wants to cook some fish, eat some blue fish, and uh, we're gonna get him one. Time to put him down. All right, so they're sitting out a little farther. So wherever you catch your last fish, just, just remember that. And whether it's bluefish, largemouth bass, striped bass, whatever, just remember what technique you used and where you caught them. 
because that's where they're going to be sitting and fish are fish man they're going to follow the same thing they're going to do the same thing especially these aggressive ones i hope this one doesn't didn't swallow because he's coming up i didn't see the plug <laughs> ah. Nah, the plug's there. Maybe we can do an easy release on this fella. Comfy little kick. Go, 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 go. All right. Let's catch some more. Move down current a little bit into that little calm area. So now I'm walking down down current with them. Because the last the other day I lost a really big fish and it wasn't fighting like a bluefish at all. And he just hit like a freight train. And just started and I lost him because I stayed in one place and he just kept going. I tried to pull him up current and I ended up losing him so I'm trying the technique of walking the fish or walking to the fish down down current but he looks barely hooked so if I lose him then that's why yeah he's barely hooked no giant but a decent blue Look at that fish. 29 inch bluefish. Big old fight in the current. Gorgeous fish. Let's go. Mwah. Eric Pitt. He's off. Oof. Give me a good old tail spin right there. Nice. Bluefish are so much fun. When you find them, you catch them. That's a 29 inch fish. Now that I got my tape. Well everyone, thank you for watching. I appreciate all the support throughout all the videos and the comment sections, DMs. It's really cool seeing all the support. So thank you very much. Again, like the last time, I gotta call it because I don't know how the audio is gonna be after this win. It's supposed to pick up again a little bit harder than this. So right now, I gotta end it. I hope you guys learned something really, really cool, whether or not you're new to fishing or have been fishing for a couple years and learned something new, that'd be really cool to know if you did. Let me know in the comment section below. Guys, remember, when fishing for bluefish, no matter what, keep checking your leaders because they'll go after your barrel swivels, your knots, uh, anything, they'll miss the bait, hit the line, so make sure you don't have any frays and always change your hooks. I know I didn't change the hook out of this one, got it right out of the packaging, but always check your stock hooks and change them with some stronger ones because companies aren't putting strong hooks on there so just make sure you do it right and uh i hope you guys enjoyed get out on the water have some fun experiment try something new uh new rod reel line spots new rips just learn something new every single time you guys go out I, again i appreciate all the support and if you are new to the channel hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up and comment down below Thank you guys for watching. Stay real, smooch and release, and have some fun on the water. We'll see you next time. You're